Welcome to SDH's coverage of everything going on in the WPSL Southeast. And uh, it is a couple of match weekends in, and what we're going to do is pick up our coverage and let you know what's happened to this particular point and take you back to the uh, match of the week, which was a, a historic night in the WPSL in the conference at Decatur at Decatur FC. And so that'll be our match of the week. We'll get you set up for everything going on in the WPSL and going forward for the rest of the season. We'll catch you up with what's going on on the teams in the WPSL Southeast with interviews and uh, get you squared away for everything going on here in the conference. So let's take you back over the last couple of match days and get you caught up with where things stand. Started back on the 18th, Nashville Rhythm shuts out Atlanta Fire United at Brentwood Academy by the final of 4-0. Same score, FC Birmingham over FC Nashville Wolves at Lawson Field. In week number three, it was our match of the week. Decatur FC, Atlanta Fire United, it was the home opener for Decatur FC at Decatur High School. It was on the SDH Network. Here's your highlights, courtesy of, well, us, with Jason and Jess on the call. Far side now, Decatur, trying to break towards the 18. Great cross into the danger zone, and Burgess, Barry Barley, buries it home. The first goal in Decatur FC history falls to Bree Barley, and she makes no mistake. A gorgeous cross to the edge of the six-yard box, and Bree Barley is not going to miss that one. Decatur lead 1-0. The first goal in Decatur FC history. Bree Barley, Jason said it time and time again. Barley is a hustler. Barley's going to give you everything, and she gave everything to make that run into the box. She gambled, and she strikes it clean as anything. That's great work on the far side to allow Barley to get all the way across. That cross was perfectly placed, giving Barley the opportunity to cut in and attack that and put it into the back of the net. But instead, it's Contreras. Contreras for Decatur. Well, she chopped down crowd things, so referee allows play to continue. Borgelt turns it back to Bryant. Bryant assessing, crossing. Great ball by Bryant. Contreras heads it home. And Contreras has doubled the lead. Less than 15 minutes played. And Decatur has the 2-0 lead. It's a marvelous run by Becky Contreras to find herself in so much space. But the delivery from Mika Bryant put that one on a platter. And Decatur are oh, rocking. Decatur Welcome Number to Decatur six, FC WPSL. Great turn by Contreras. Edge of the 18. Oh, my goodness. Becky Contreras take a bow. She looked up, she picked her spot, and it's a world-class strike into the back of the net. 3-0 Decatur, and we said it was a dream start at two, but this is just indescribable. Elliot charging forward down the touchline again, slows to a gander, finds El Shami. El Shami first touch around the goalkeeper, passes it in to the near side corner. Masoon Al Shami gets her debut goal for Decatur FC, and the North Georgia standout adds the fourth of the night for Decatur FC. Incredible patience by Catherine Elliott. You thought she was slowing down the play. No, she was waiting for the run. She was directing traffic, and she puts the ball into the pocket that Al Shami is waiting for. The first touch from Al Shami leaves the goalkeeper rooted to the spot, and Masoon Al Shami with the composure to pass it home. Jason, great goal for Decatur. The composure inside the 18 from El Shami. Spectacular. Lansing has to come for it, trying to throw the attacker off so many times. That works where you force her to take it wide, but El Shami didn't rush it. She's able to get past the goalkeeper, get her head up, take a breath, and slot it into the open net. Her fight is not without reward as Juarez tried to control. Chapman does get onto it now. Right side, inside to Consolino. Consolino looking to cut to her left. Instead, calmly passes to Griner. Griner fakes the shot onto her right. Griner! 
Ping that one out the back of the net. Five on a night to remember for Decatur FC. And Sarah Griner puts the cherry on the top with a glorious spinner into the top corner. Fakes with her left, cuts to her right, and whips in a world-class finish. These fans will be back, no doubt about it, because Decatur have given them five to cheer for, and boy, do they respond with the noise. Wow, Jason. What a hit from Griner from distance, putting that into the upper corner. No goalkeeper is able to get to that. Great goal from Griner for number five. And if I've got no voice on the Charlotte FC broadcast tomorrow, I'll blame Decatur FC for five goals on a night to remember. So 5-0 the final score. Full points to Decatur FC in their first match in the WPSL as they are off and running in the 2024 season. So final thoughts from the postgame show. Here's what Jason and Jess had to say about a night where 1,803 folks walked through the turnstiles to watch Soccer in a soccer city, that it, it means a lot. Definitely means a lot. So here's what it meant to Decatur, Georgia, through the eyes of Jason and Jess. Crowd starting there, clapping vigorously, looking to celebrate the win. Probably used to the tendencies of college where the scoreboard is the final whistle. That will not be the case today. Two minutes remain between the fans celebrating the first three points. Griner, 1v1, blocked off the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper's in no man's land. Consolino deflects. Carrie Consolino, a deflection away from her first goal. 5-0 still the score. Maddox, outside the 18, tries to kill one in the top post. Nothing there. Goal kick. 5-0 still the scoreline. Just sliced that one. Maddox, such a, a great performance from Decatur FC. I'll give you my final thoughts as we start to wrap things up here from Decatur High School. You could not have asked for a better debut performance on or off the field for Decatur FC. An amazing crowd. They've been into it the whole time. So many kids in the crowd tonight. A great performance on the field. Becky Contreras with two goals Bree Barley with that first goal in cl club history holding on to the clean sheet just a complete team performance and that's so hard to do in summer league at the end of a season to be able to have this kind of a team performance in game number one this is a team that you want to watch in the WPSL this summer 1803 fans attended today they will be back in Decatur as we see the final moments of stoppage time on the referee's discretion. They have been treated to a spectacle, an incredible matchup, an incredible debut to WPSL action. They'll look to see this result out, and I cannot wait to hear the final cheer at the referee's whistle. Is there a chance for one more moment of fireworks? Chapman, square ball to Juarez. Juarez winds up for her own strike into the hands of Lansing. All eyes on the referee in the middle of the park, waiting to see this come to a close. Lansing punts it up, and that is it. History in the making. Decatur FC has well and truly arrived in WPSL. A dream that could not have been dreamt up any better in their WPSL debut. Decatur score five. A first ever goal in history for the club from Bree Barley, followed by a brace of Becky Contreras. Masoon Al Shami not to be outdone with her 1v1 goal. And Sarah Griner with the cherry on top with the world class strike from distance. For Jessica Charman and Jason Longshore, it has been a delightful opportunity to bring you history today. Decatur FC, welcome to WPSL. A statement has been made. Your final score from Decatur High School, Decatur FC 5, Atlanta Fire 0. Big win, big first half for Decatur FC. More than 1,800 in attendance at Decatur High School. Very, very cool to see that and to see how the community has rolled out to support Decatur FC here in their first season in the WPSL. Nashville Rhythm continued their hot hand with a 4-1 win at Chattanooga FC. Match was 1-1, ended up 4-1. Nashville getting the Duke at Fort Finley. 8-6-5 Alliance and UFA Gunners. That one ended up as a 2-2 draw at the Hardin Valley Academy, and that gets us to this weekend. 
laying everything out schedule-wise, 3 o'clock Saturday afternoon, Georgia Impact taking on the very hot Nashville Rhythm FC at Cherokee High School. Also, it was FC Nashville Wolves at 5 o'clock at Davidson Academy taking on Decatur FC. We'll see how Decatur FC responds to life on the road. At Hardin Valley, it's 865 Alliance at 7 o'clock hosting FC Birmingham. And then it is a, a very quick turn for Nashville Rhythm as they turn around and a big turn for FC Birmingham as they go from basically Knoxville to Nashville. They drive the two hours. And they'll play uh, Nashville Rhythm at Giacosa, 5 o'clock on Sunday afternoon. Fort Finley hosts a matchup with 865 Alliance and Chattanooga FC. That one is at 7 o'clock Eastern time as well at Fort Finley. That kind of gets us into week number five with the the matchup that starts it all at Oglethorpe. UFA Gunners and Atlanta Fire United, that one will get us through this next seven days and get you squared away as we get ready for uh, match week five or five and a half and to see how things lay out with uh, Georgia Impact and Decatur FC, the big matchup in the Georgia section of the footprint in the southeast. If you are anywhere close to any of these teams and can catch the matchups, it's quality soccer. You get to see the players that are working their way through uh, high school and college ranks and trying to figure out their next steps in their careers, and you get to see it up close and personal with some great activities at places like Georgia Impact, Decatur FC, and, and all the other teams that are in the Southeast Conference. If you are in market and can't be there, follow along on local providers, follow along on social media so you can find out where these matches can be heard and or seen. And if you're out of market and you still can't uh, be there in person in time, once again, follow along on local providers and catch up with us here at the SDH Network on a weekly basis. We'll let you know all the activities going on in the WPSL. So for everybody here at SDH, thanks for hanging out with us for SDH on the WPSL Southeast. Play it safe, everybody. Enjoy the games. We'll catch up with you next week. 